everybody. Um, this is Queer Theory. You're watching Lisa. It should be Friday, but it's Sunday right now. Um, so this week's topic is being friends with your exes. And this is kind of like a weird topic for me to talk about because I have four exes. Three of them I don't talk to at all. Like, we have no contact whatsoever. And it wasn't because... Well, okay, my first ex, things ended kind of badly and we just, like, don't really talk anymore. It was a while ago, like five years ago. Um, so we just don't talk anymore. My second ex, it was a mutual thing. Um... And we just kind of lost touch, I guess. Like, if he contacted me and was like, hey, how are you, whatever, like, there wouldn't be any bad blood. <laughs> um, but we just, like, lost touch and just don't talk anymore. My third ex broke up with me randomly, and then after we broke up, that was it. We didn't talk once after we broke up. So that was kind of weird, um, but whatever. Um, now I guess my most recent ex, we broke up once throughout our three month relationship. Um, and when we broke up the first time, we kind of like went through that awkward phase where like, I think Alex was talking about this, where like you're friends and then you like do the same exact things you used to do when you were dating. So I think that kind of like brought back like memories and things like that. So after that, he was like, oh, I made a mistake, let's get back together. So we did. And then a month later, he broke up with me again. So I think that's one of the um, big things. Like I totally agree with Alex when you say that when you break up with someone, there should be specific intentions on how you want the relationship to go and kind of I guess like what the boundaries are if that makes sense um but anyway my opinion on being friends with your exes is I mean I definitely think that they were in your life for a reason and like Molly said if there hasn't been anything that was totally terrible in your relationship, like you broke up because feelings weren't there anymore or like little things, then the friendship shouldn't be that hard. Um, I mean, definitely taking time to figure things out and setting boundaries, like I said before, is important. But like with my ex, this kind of sounds really stupid, but my ex, he, it was the first queer relationship I've been in. And I'm not going to say that he, like, helped me figure out who I am, but in a sense, he did. So he, like, he really changed my life. And the fact that when we broke up, we talked for about a month after that. And then I didn't understand how he said that we could be friends and then went through his Instagram, his Facebook, and his Twitter and deleted every single trace of our relationship. And he unfollowed me on like Twitter or something. And I know that sounds super childish, like why would you care about that? But that takes effort to go through all of your shit and delete things. Like that must have taken him like a little while to do that and that kind of hurt my feelings. Like. I don't know it was just so weird like after that it was just that was it we just didn't talk anymore and it wasn't really the fact that we broke up that hurt me it was the fact that I just lost someone that made a huge impact on my life and it just like it kind of took me by surprise because I didn't expect that to happen and in my opinion, I would never delete someone like that all of a sudden. Like, all of a sudden, it was just like, okay, bye. And I was just like, what the f 
what the heck? Like, it was just so weird. Like, I see him all the time because he's in my major and he goes to my school. So, like, I'll see him and I'll, we'll, like, say hi and stuff like that. But I don't know. I feel like it just wasn't supposed to be like that. And I know that there are certain people that are only supposed to be a part of your life for a short amount of time. But when someone helps you through something and when someone teaches you things and when someone really makes an impact then I feel like there should be more there if that makes sense I don't know like when we started dating that's when he first started taking tea and I think I just experienced so much with him that I just want to know how he's doing and how things are going and things like that and it's just like I'm curious and I just I want to know how he is and how his transition is going and I don't know I don't know so those are my opinions and experiences with being friends with your exes um, I am gonna go into the gym now and I will talk to you all next Friday Bye.